What's up guys? Quick video tonight. I just finished building this AR-15 and wanted to show you guys a quick tip. Uh, I've had this question a little bit in the past about how I fix or what I do whenever the upper receiver and the lower receiver is not a perfect fit. Uh, this one isn't too extreme. I've seen them worse than this and I've had a lot that are better than this, but I'll try to show you guys this on video here. Like I say, I just finished the build on this and the fit between the upper receiver and the lower receiver is not uh, ideal or up to my standards uh, for a build quality that I do. And just want to show you how I fix the slop or the play between the upper receiver and the low, lower receiver. Not sure how well the video is going to pick this up, but I'm just going to try to w wiggle the grip here on the lower receiver and show you kind of the play between the upper and the lower. You probably can't see it as much as you can actually hear it, but there's definitely some play there and on a build like this that just drives me crazy so try to zoom in here just a little bit like I say I don't know how well that's going to pick up on video but this is just a simple process to show how I fix the play or the slot between the upper and the lower. So what we'll do here, put this on the bench. We'll separate the upper from the lower. And then out there on the market, they're going to make different variations of wedges and just different options to make the fit between the upper and the lower a uh, better fit. But what I've done in years past and continue to do is all I will do is take this front stud on the upper receiver. See there. And then all I'm going to do is take a five cent rubber o-ring and we're going to simply slide that over top of this front stud and you want one that's going to be a pretty tight fit be pretty snug you want it so snug that sometimes these are even going to break once they're on there and you won't know when they break until you take the lower from the upper but you want that pretty snug on there. What we'll do is we'll just take this and made it back up. You always want, after you put the rubber O-ring on there, you always want to make sure and attach the front retaining pin first. And then the rear. Zoom back in here. I'm doing the same thing there and there's no play whatsoever zoom back out just so you can see it if you buy those rubber o-rings in bulk I mean you're probably talking four cents five cents a piece and if they break you just throw a new one on there but that's the easiest fix simple fix you can buy wedges, you can buy aftermarket parts to fit the lower to the upper, make it a better fit. But a simple rubber O-ring, you can't go wrong. Kind of an easy DIY fix right there. And that's how I've done it for many years and uh, will continue to do it just because it's such an easy fix and it works so well. Appreciate you guys watching and we'll see you on the next one. Happy hunting. Be safe. See ya. Bye.